David Van Barneveld. He would be a popular world champion, wouldn't he? Nice switch. Down you require 140. Georgetown in Guyana. Norman Madu. Oh, now he's taken out 136. Oh, surely not another one. Oh, yeah, absolutely sensational from the South African. 136. Now a 146. Game on. Brilliant, son. Well, we've seen Simon Whitlock watching. Simon Whitlock, trademark finishing all over the big Tom Plus finishes, and some of the Wizards' magic appears to be rubbing off on Devon Peterson. 136, 146. He leads 2 1, and now looking for his first max of the match. We'll just settle for that. Well, Phil Taylor's old darts are doing the trick for Devon Peterson so far. Madhu under pressure here, needs to, has to hold throw, I think. We do have seen it all before, remember, on the big stage, though, and in those games that you mentioned at the Circus Tavern, Stewart against Steve Smith and Ken McNeil game here, so I think he's going to be overly phased by what he's watching. And he's still playing pretty steadily himself. Forget oh, steadily, that superstar leaves 81 after nine darts thrown. Could be an 11 dart lead for the man from Georgetown, Guyana. Yeah, Madhu, Madhu, the crowd are chanting, and uh, at the third attempt, 60. he's finally hit a 180 in the World Championship. His first ever one played in 2004 and last year. Now he's hit a maximum. Oh, look at this. 11 data for two all. What a leg. What a match this has been. Double 12. Oh, 57. Well, the first one was far close to the second, but the reality is he's going to have at least another three and probably another six if he needs them at it. Well, these preliminary round games, deadly serious, of course, for the players. 100. Standard has been excellent. Uh, but for those watching, for us watching, great fun as well. Three darts missed, 12s, now four, and we know Peterson could take out 1-4-1 one, one because of what he's done in the last couple of legs, there it is, nothing to worry about, but you could say much Madhu about nothing. 2-2. Well, right on the money again. Is this going to be a maximum for Peterson? <laughs> what a game, what a game. A 180 apiece, a 146 and a 136. If Devon Peterson goes on to play Jamie Caven, uh, Jamie Caven better watch out. Great standard again, isn't it? 66. Important last start, five and a one, and then bang on the money again from Storm and Norman. Really good entertainment. We've not been disappointed, really, have we, 60. by any of the prelims? Even Preston Ridd beating. Mickey Mansell 4 0. You know, the Kiwi uh, lived the darting dream for half an hour, didn't he? Yeah, we see some terrific stuff, and uh, none of us will remember, uh, forget Hashimoto 55. from Japan in a hurry. He was terrific. And Pear Larson, having won his prelim match, then KO John Part as well, and now gets a crack at the power. So, terrific stuff. Well, Peterson's left 1-6-1 one, one now. We've seen a 1-3-6, a 1-4-6. We're going to see the fourth highest finish. We might see a third maximum, a second from Norman Manu. 40. Devon, require 161. Well, the standard of this has been as good as, as, as many of the first-round matches we've seen from some of the recognised players. It really has. 95 average for the South African, 87 uh, for the Guyana, hugely respectable. 93. Freddie Starr, wasn't it? Who ate the hamster? Don't remember Sid getting involved there. 77. Well, here we Down go. 3 2. 68. He hasn't missed. 
136. 146. That's a lovely marker. 60. Well, Madhu can't finish here on 163. Can Madhu do? Do now. Slip. 81. Well, 82 Double left, eight. so. Double four needs to be mocked up here by Peterson. And Swept away five. effortlessly by and the South Peterson. African. He leads 3 2. He's Nine one leg two. away Nine from a place in the first round. One up, two to play. All five legs won with the throw and pretty convincingly with the throw as well. So, pressure on Madhu here. 60. And may not be good enough. What a breath of fresh air Devon Peterson has been. Twelve months ago, we lost in the final of the South African 60. Masters to Les Francis. This year, he beat Les Francis in the final to qualify. Do you remember? Do you remember our friend Vinan Hervenga at the Circus 60. Tavern four years ago? Peter Large, Manley does, doesn't he? Yeah, larger than life South African. Uh, Havenga, who made a massive mark on the World Championship. I wonder if Devon Peterson can do the same 97. here. 90 average so far. Very tidy players. You mentioned uh, Les Francis there. Charles Losco, remember as well. Good players. But Peterson, on what this evidence, right? may well be better than that lot. The question is, if he gets through, can he do it over a best of five sets match? That's the question. He can certainly do it in this short course as he buries it under the top 40. Oh, Phil Taylor's dart doing the trick for Devon. Oh, I suppose when you're given a gift of a set of match darts from the greatest player that's ever lived, you, you hang on to them, you get used to them. And he has! Oh, unlucky, unlucky. I might ask if I can use the set myself. When's he back? The 27th? Do they work for everyone? Well, if you're watching, Phil, bring me and Rod a set <laughs> each, please. For Christmas, thank you. We'll see you on the 27th. 28. Well, big slip. And now, a two-dart finish for Devon Peterson. Look at him. Looks like a fast bowler on his run-up, Stuart, doesn't he? Getting ready to bowl a York and knock over the stumps. Can he knock over this 69? Well, choices. 50 left, so got a choice. Just manages to hit the big 18. Two 16s for the match! 53. Well, a great attempt. Well, you feel here, Norman Madhu needs to take this out to stay in the World Championship. It would be some shot if he could do it, and it's on, it's on. Now then, Peterson's missed one for the match. Madhu is going to get one dart, surely, to save the match. A double 18 to force a decider. 77. Well, Devon, Devon you require 60. this is your moment. Double eight. One in the locker left. Four chances spurned. Four opportunities missed. Madhu to send us to the last leg decider. Oh, you can see the anguish. The anguish etched on the face of Devon Peterson. He's missed four darts. Storming Norman's got one left in the locker. And Sanders sixth man. Still alive. Peterson wonders what's gone wrong. Peterson wonders how on earth he's already not in the first round. 3 3, last leg shootout. Peterson has the throw, but has he lost his chance? Oh, what bottle! What skill and what courage. The kid's only 24 years of age, he's never experienced anything like this. Devon Peterson, he missed four darts to win and then comes out with a ton 40. But Storming Norman, 
81 is still in there. Fantastic quality for a preliminary round game. When you think that in the Caribbean and in South Africa, darts is very much still in its infancy, growing all the time. 60. But uh, these two have given us 25 minutes of cracking entertainment. Just losing the line a little. Well, he's, he's getting a little edgy, isn't he? Four darts at double 16 and double eight to win this match, Devon Peterson. Who can blame him for his nerves, though, Stuart? Biggest stage of all. Must have seen that 94. double eight winking at him, tempting him, saying, this is it, this is it, you're through, just hit it. Oh, what a good dart again from... Uh, Devon Peterson may switch here, will surely have to switch, not a lot of room there. 98. Well, yeah, gives him a finish, but there's nothing between them, there's been nothing between them the entire game. Oh, well done, Madhu, what a fantastic match we've seen here. 85. So, Devin he's missed four, he's got six from here. Oh, surely oh. not, surely not. Oh no, surely not. He's done 146 and 136. 140. Oh. My, oh my. This is fantastic to watch. Oh, that would have been the finish of darting dreams, wouldn't it? To take out 160 on the big stage to move into round one proper. <laughs> well, then he woke 60. up. But he's still Devin coming back 20. for double 10. Double 10 then to put Devon in heaven at the Ali Pali. Yes, He's I done it! Superb Devin performance! Peterson. A 136, a 146, a maximum two, and Peterson through to face Caven in the first round. Well, after Christmas is when the action really starts, when Taylor's in town again, back on December the 27th.